Question 5. Nickel 2 ion form a numbers of complex ion, including uh, this one, this, and this. So uh, they're having different uh, ligand, uh, water, ammonia, and this uh, EN. The abbreviation of EN is actually 1,2-diamino uh, eating. And the uh, numerical values of the two stability constant given in table 5.1. So the care step for these uh, two complex ion is given. Uh, so from here, uh, we know that the complex with the EN uh, is uh, more stable. So why we know it's more stable? Because the care step value is really large. So means if there is a complex ion form, this one is always the one that form first and form more. So part A, complete the, the expression for the care step of the this nickel with the 3EN. So first, you at least you need to know there is uh, reactions like this. The, the nickel with the water ligand, hexa aqua nickel here. So uh, with 3EN, because EN is bidentate ligand, so it only needs 3. Then it can uh, form the 6 stative bond. Okay, after that, uh, it will form this uh, the new complex, the nickel with 3EN, and uh, all the water ligand has been substituted uh, or it been, has been exchanged. Uh, so you need to give the care step. Uh, so no need to involve the water here. So you just need to consider this one. Because uh, this water is a liquid, uh, it's actually constant. Right, the care step we just consider the species that involved uh, means the, the complex and this the, the ligand that used and uh, this uh, hexa aqua nickel ion. Right, so the one that you need to uh, beware is the square bracket. So uh, you must put another square bracket here outside the complex ion to show that it's a concentration. Uh, so this is the one that you must be careful. And of course, uh, because it's 3 EN, so EN here is power 3. Yeah? Okay, so it's, again, uh, it's the concentration of product over the reactants. Part B, a solution of nickel, uh, this one, uh, hexa aqua nickel, uh, is added to a solution that contains uh, 0 0.1 mole per dm cube ammonia and 0 0.1 mole per dm cube EN. Same concentration, but we know that EN will try to form the complex because the nickel with the this uh, en this ion complex ion is more stable huh? from the tables we know uh, so predict uh, which complex ion this or this is present in the resulting mixture with highest concentration uh, of course this one is more stable the case step is higher so this one will form more so your prediction should be this, uh, must put this one, the nickel with 3EN, and uh, explanation, very easy. You just say the care step is larger. And larger care step means the complex that form, complex ion that form is more stable. Okay, part two, complete the equation for the ligand exchange uh, in this uh, part one, uh, told you already. Huh? So uh, this uh, hexa aqua nickel with the 3EN, now to form the new complex ion, with the six water. Okay, part C. Complete figure 5.1 to show the three-dimensional structure of the two isomers of the nickel with three EN, uh, uh, complex ion. Uh, you can use this one to represent the EN ligand. So just draw, draw the, the mirror images. So you need to draw the nickel with the 3EN, complex ion. Okay, so left-hand side, if you draw in this way, right-hand side must follow. Okay, so they are mirror images. Huh? Uh, as you can, uh, you should start from the, this uh, 3D drawing. Uh, draw the wedge lines and the dotted line to show that this is uh, in front, this is at the back. Right, then you put the, this EN. Uh, and if possible, you just put the charge. Okay, once you finish, draw the the this uh, octahedral complex. Okay, when you finish this one, then the next one must follow. Okay, so you must put the en here, 
at this position uh, so uh, they look like a mirror image lah, huh? and this one the en must be in this position uh, on right at the back there uh, so another en on right in front right so uh, make sure they are mirror images then you can get this uh, this uh, two marks uh, so and uh, you need to mention what is the type of isomerism show uh, this one is uh, the isomerism is the optical isomerism why because they are mirror images they are non super impossible uh, so they are optical isomer means uh, no matter how you rotate let's say now you rotate 180 uh, 180 degree you will not get back the same thing it's not the same right so therefore they are optical isomers okay that's all thank you